Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today we have a beginner full body 10 minute workout. This is specifically made for adults. And what makes this for adults is basically we don't do any dumbass moves that will get us hurt. We do everything under control. Even though they're just speed intervals, we always want to go in under control. Anyway, enough talking. We'll get started in 10 seconds. We're starting off with a lunge and a twist. This is a no repeat workout. Intervals are 45 seconds long. Rest intervals 15 seconds long. In three, two, one. Let's go lunge forward and give me a twist. And back. Forward on the other side. Twist. Back. Forward. Twist. It's a full body workout, guys. There'll be a variety of movements today. You are going to have to have a set of dumbbells with you. Twist. Forward. I don't care what you do with your hands. It could be on your hips. It could be behind your head. As long as you give me a twist. Forward. Twist. It's only 10 minutes. We got this. We have about five seconds left in this interval. So keep moving. Let's do one more. Two, one. Nice twist. We got 15 seconds left. We get going again. Let's get on the floor. We're going to do some bicycle kicks. Stay elevated. You don't have to lay all the way down. Legs are going to come up in the air and we're just going to kick. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Find your balance. I just did. And now we're just going to kick. 45 seconds is a long interval. If you feel like you need to lay down and do this, that's fine. If you need to take a break, also fine. We're aiming this basically at beginners, just starting out. Pace yourself so you make the 45 second interval. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right, now we're going for a deep push up. So I use a set of dumbbells for this so I can get that full stretch on my chest. So either way, if you're gonna do a regular push up or on your knees, I want you to elevate your chest, elevate your hands a little bit so you can get that full stretch. So I want you to go down, full stretch, and come up. All right, down, stretch, hold it, and come up. Looking good, down, hold it, come up. Nice full stretch and come up. Keep going and up. 20 seconds left, stretch, up. Down and up, down and up. Less than 10 seconds left, down and up, three, two, one, last one, and up. All right, for next exercise, we just need one dumbbell. We're gonna just twist it, throw that, twist it, throw that dumbbell around our waist. I'm gonna use something a little lighter, maybe use a 20 instead of a 25. All right, three, two, one, let's go. And that's all I want you to do. Believe it or not, this is a good core exercise. You gotta build that stability. If you want to switch directions, switch directions. If you want to go in a different direction, go in a different direction. Just keep good posture and keep throwing that dumbbell all the way around. We've got 45 seconds. Trust me, this adds up. All the way around, come on. Full body workout, we're moving throughout, only 15 second breaks. We've got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and dumbbell down. We're gonna use a single dumbbell once again. So stay right here, shake those arms out just a little bit. And this one, we're gonna go around our heads. Either direction you want, doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. Ready? And take a dumbbell around your head. All the way around, big circles. Like I said, if you wanna switch directions, switch directions. If you don't wanna switch directions, next, next time you do this exercise, come back and do it in the other direction. Big circles, mobility here, core work, 
shoulder work all in one exercise. Like I said, this is a full body exercise today. Full body workout, I should say, not just an exercise. 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one, and we got 15 seconds of relaxing. Now you can grab whichever dumbbell you want. We're going for goblet squats. If you don't want to use a dumbbell, you don't have to use a dumbbell. You just squat down, go as deep as you can. All right. Two, one, let's go down, hold it, and back up. Down, a little bit of a hold, a little bit of a pause. I don't want you bouncing back up. Don't use any momentum. Just nice down and nice up. And down and looking good. And up, about halfway down with the interval, looking good. And back up. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we are done with that. All right, we're moving on to a straight arm sit up. So we try to keep those arms up, pointing towards the ceiling the entire time as we sit up. If you can't do that, it's quite all right, but you try to fight it, all right? And up and down. Up, point those arms towards the ceiling. Here we go. Up, down, up. Let the core do all the work. Core and hips here. Keep those arms pointed up. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, sit up. And might as well stay down here on the ground. We're going to do our glute bridge floor press. All right. So get down on the ground. Hips up. Ready and press. Nice and easy and controlled. Press. It's like a decline press, but we're not using a bench. We're activating the glutes also. Push as high as you can. Bring those hips up. 20 seconds left. Keep going. Nice and slow and control. Three, two, one, and down. All right, now we're gonna get up for some curls, some hammer curls, because you know what? No workout is complete until we work on the arms a little bit. So we're gonna alternate, alternate that together. So one, two, and both. Ready? Three, two, one, hammer curl. One, two, both. Right, left, and both. And a right and the left, and both, looking good. One, two, and up, and one, and two, and up. 20 seconds left, stay with me. Two, no swinging, up, no cheating. One, easy to screw up your lower back. If you do, you don't wanna do that. One, two, and up, we got five seconds left. Let's do finish it up. One, two, and both, ready? Knock it out, boom. All right, we're down to our last exercise, guys. We're almost done, like I said, 10 minute workout. We're gonna finish off with one of my favorite cardio things that we use for dumbbells. We're gonna go with some skiers. So just a skiing motion, ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. Up, down, up. Thrust up from your hips, boom. Kind of like a kettlebell swing, but using two dumbbells, up. Up, all that motion, all that power comes from the hips. Not really pushing with your arms. And up, and move it. Come on. 
Even though it's a beginner workout, doesn't mean you can't work hard. Just gotta work hard and smart and not get hurt in the process. 10 seconds left, keep it up. Few more, one, two, come on. One, five seconds left, two. Couple more swings, one, let's do one more swing. Boom, Woo. and we are done. And this concludes our beginner 10 minute workout. Thank you for joining me today for that to 50. My name is Paul. Workouts do come out every Monday and every Thursday. If you can hear me breathing me hard, me breathing hard, and I'll be able to speak, it means I worked hard. So thanks for joining me today, guys, and I will see you during the next workout.